Hello friends and welcome to today's project of making goji berry jam. The ingredient list is in the description. Who wouldn't want a jam made out of a superfood? But is it still a superfood when you make it into a jam with this much sugar? I say, of course it is, because you can have this jam for breakfast, and breakfast is the most important meal of the day, hence this jam has to be good for you. Let's begin. Fresh goji berries are not easy to find, so I'm going to be using dried goji berries. That's alright because I will be rehydrating them. Also, the best part is that it is harvested at its peak, so we're not missing out on flavor. This is how they look like. They almost look like little dried chilies. Pour 200 grams of dried goji berries in a bowl. Pour hot boiling water over it. Make sure you pour a good amount. We don't want to under soak the goji berries. Cover that up and place that in the fridge to absorb the water. The next day. Take the bowl out of the fridge and you will notice the berries have become plump. They look lively and have a nice bright rich red color. Just nice for jam making. Now take a sieve and strain the berries. I am only doing this to measure out the liquid part. From 200 grams of dried goji berries, the berries have now become 500 grams. Because the goji berries are now 500 grams, we want the sugar to also be at 500 grams. However, I'm going to measure out 400 grams of regular caster sugar and 100 grams of vanilla sugar. I have a video on the top right corner on how to make vanilla sugar. Do check that out. Next, let me introduce to you pectin powder. Pectin is a natural thickening agent found in fruits such as apples, citrus fruits like lemons, limes and oranges. A link for this will be in the description. Here I'm going to be using 12 grams of pectin. It is about 4 grams of pectin to 500 grams of substance. Mix the pectin powder with vanilla sugar. This way, it will prevent lumps from forming later, when we mix it in when cooking. The reason I know to use 12 grams of pectin is because we need the liquid to be at 500 grams too, making the total weight at 1500 grams. So here is the soaking liquid but let's top it up to 500 grams with water. Now take a medium sized pot and pour in the liquid, goji berries and then the sugar but not the vanilla sugar with the pectin powder. Bring the pot over to the stove and turn on the heat to medium to high. We want the mixture to boil. While the mixture is coming to a boil, I have a stick blender. I'm going to blend the jam to get a semi-smooth finish. You can however leave them whole. I just find it to be more spreadable when they are blended. But that is a choice preference. Now, while things are starting to heat up, you can slowly pour in the pectin and vanilla sugar mixture. Stir while you do that. We want to cook the jam until the temperature reaches to 105 degrees Celsius. I love how the color changes from a bright red to a deep crimson. Once it has reached 105 degrees Celsius, take it off from the heat and take it to one side. You can test to see if it's done by taking a frozen spoon and dipping it in. When you draw a line and the line stays, it is good. When it cools down, it will be nice and spreadable. Pour this in a glass container. Cover the surface with clean film to prevent the skin from forming. Place it in the fridge to cool overnight. The next day. Take the jam out of the fridge. I find it amazing how that there are these little seeds in between the jam. I decided to have some crumpets with this jam. Go ahead and toast them. Warm bread, healthy jam, come on, what more can you want for breakfast? Wow, such a unique punch in flavor. I feel healthier now having had this. There is almost a sour note almost similar to having tomatoes, but such a nice balanced sweetness. If you want to try a different kind of jam, give this one a go. Well, there you have it. 
Goji Berry Jam, thank you for watching. As usual, it was a pleasure having you with us on this journey today. If you enjoyed what you watched, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to be notified of upcoming videos. And we shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.